Today, I want to talk about how you can edit the context menus within your file manager. Let me switch over to my desktop and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to open up the file manager on my system is PC Man FM. And if I go uh, into one of my directories here, this is my GitLab repos directory. It has all of my GitLab repositories cloned here on the system. But if I right click on something, whether it be a directory or a file, I get a menu with various things I can do in this case with this particular directory or with this particular file. You know, it tells me all the various programs I could open this particular log file, which is a plain text file. So, you know, I get all the text editors on my system, you know, as possibilities of things I could open that file with. If it was a MP3, all the music players would probably be listed in that context menu open with, you know, things like Rhythmbox and Dead Beef and MPV and VLC, anything that can play music would be what would be in that context menu. Sometimes though, you want to be able to add your own custom actions to these context menus in your file manager and that's what we're going to talk about today so the first thing i want to do is let's go over to the arch wiki because anytime you're interested in how to do something obviously you need to read the documentation right this is one of the things people need to get in the habit of just going and looking up the documentation so if i want to do something with pc man fm for example i searched for pc man fm here in the arch wiki and if i scroll down there is a little subsection here adding custom items to your context menu and they even have an example piece of code here so you can see that this needs to be a dot desktop entry file and it needs to go in your home directory slash dot local slash share slash file dash manager slash actions slash the name of the file dot desktop so let's just copy this code and then let's create this file so let me open up emacs for this i'll make this full screen here so i'm going to do space period to run the find file command here inside doom emacs but really i'm not finding a file i'm actually just going to create one so i'm going to do dot local slash share slash file dash manager slash actions slash and then the name of the dot desktop file we're going to create what i want to do as an example a first example is all the directories in my gui file manager in this case pc man fm i would like to be able to right click on them and then if i want to open them inside dear ed inside emacs i would like to have that option listed in that context menu so i'm going to call this emacs dear ed dot desktop and it's going to ask me do i want to create the file and all the directories as part of that path yes and now let me go ahead and paste the example code that we got from the arch wiki so now i just need to go in here and edit some values the main one is the name this will of course appear in our menu so the name of this will be open in emacs dear ed and that will suffice for the description and then this here is another name so you can have multiple names in various languages if you want it to be uh, compatible for languages other than english but for me i don't need to do that and then we need to set an icon and in this case pretty much every standard icon set has a emacs icon so just emacs should work for us here and then the mime type so we need the the, the file type, right, the MIME type of these files. For example, if I wanted this to only appear on audio files, then I would go in here and I would have to get the, the MIME type of all the audio files, which I believe typically are things like uh, audio MPEG, for example, for MP3 or uh, audio FLAC. Uh, I could be a little wrong on this. If you're ever confused about exactly what the MIME type or something is you can actually get that information from a terminal let me open a terminal clear the screen let me show you this there's a very simple way to do this on arch the first thing you need to do you need to install this package here you need to sudo pacman dash capital s perl dash file dash mime info install that package i've already got it installed so i won't reinstall it and once you have that package installed on your system you now have this program available to you mime type so if you're ever interested in getting the mime type of a particular file or directory just run mime type 
on that particular file or directory. For example, my bash rc, what's its mime type? It's text slash plain, it's just a plain text file. If I wanna know what the mime type of a directory is, I'm just gonna run mime type on period, which is, of course, the alias for this directory, right? The directory we're in, it's inode dash directory. And because we only wanna open directories in Emacs Dear Ed. That's exactly what I needed here. I need inode dash directory for the mime type. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and give it a command to execute. So what is this action actually gonna do if we choose it? Well, it needs to open this current directory, right? The, the directory we, we chose, it needs to open that in Emacs Dear Ed. And I'm gonna use the Emacs client. So I use Emacs client space dash C. So open it in its own Emacs window, not in an existing Emacs window that maybe I'm already working in. Dash A for an alternative editor. If the Emacs server has crashed, Emacs client will not be available for us. So an alternative editor you could use is simply Emacs, right? The non-server uh, client Emacs. And then what I want you to do is after you've launched the Emacs client, I want you to do dash dash eval. So I want you to evaluate this code here. And the code we want to evaluate is really just run the Emacs program, dear ed, and we have to pass it an argument, right, a directory to open. And that's going to be this variable here, percent %f. So you always use percent %f in these uh, context menus for PCMANFM. Percent %f is simply the file or directory that you clicked on inside the file manager. Now let me write that. And if I did this correctly, now let me launch PCMANFM. I'll once again go to my GitLab repos. And if I want to click the DM scripts directory here, if I right click on it, now I have open and Emacs Dear Ed listed in the context menu. If I click on it, wow, it opens that inside a Emacs buffer, this Dear Ed, and this is the actual contents of that DM scripts directory. So it does exactly what it was supposed to do. And as an Emacs user, I could see some other interesting things I could do. For example, I'm going to actually just copy this. So I'm going to do a colon W for write. I'm going to write this to Emacs maggot dot desktop. So now when I do find file, I have Emacs maggot dot desktop. And this time we're just going to write something very, very similar. Anytime I click a directory, now I'm going to have open in Emacs maggot. So if it happens to be a Git repository, that's cool. Uh, mime type, once again, should be inode dash directory, except this time I want to run the command Emacs client dash C dash A Emacs dash dash avel and maggot on percent F, I believe is the command. So let's actually try that out because I could have got that command wrong. I don't use maggot inside Emacs that often, but if I Right click on dmenu dash distro tube, open in Emacs maggot. Let's see if that actually works. It does. It opens that git repository that's locally on my system. It opens that in maggot. Very cool. One interesting thing that I think a lot of people would probably find useful is being able to open a certain file or a certain directory maybe on your system as root, you know, with sudo privileges. So once again, I'm gonna do a colon W to just copy this file. So I'm gonna write and I'm going to do open as root dot desktop. And now let me switch over to that file. And now that I think about it, I think instead of opening a terminal, you know, in the current directory as root, I just wanna open another instance of pcmanfm as root. So I'm going to say open as root for the name. The icon can just be the PCMANFM icon. In this case, um, it will be directories that will be opening as root, but the executable command here will not be an Emacs command. So let me just delete that. And I think the way I want to do this as far as getting sudo privileges is gk sudo, which is a graphical box that will appear asking you for a sudo password. You typically use this with graphical applications such as a graphical file manager. And then I want you to run pcman fm and then percent f. And I'm hoping that works. I'm, I'm not positive that that's going to work. But if it does, 
There's only one way to find out. I'm going to go into my root file system, slash Etsy. Now, to do anything in slash Etsy, I'm going to need root privileges. So let's open as root, and we get the GK sudo box. Let me give my sudo password. And now it just opened my slash Etsy directory, npcmanfm, with root privileges. So, you know, that would probably be something a lot of people would be interested in having as a custom action in their file manager. Now, every file manager is going to do these custom actions, these context menu things, a little differently. They're all pretty similar, but they're all a little different, and I can't go over every single file manager out there because there's dozens of them. But uh, another very popular one that I know a lot of you guys are running is Thunar, and Thunar actually makes this pretty easy because Thunar has, in the edit menu, configure custom actions, and it's a graphical way of you creating custom actions. So here are some of the custom actions that are already enabled, right, with Thunar. I didn't create these myself, by the way. These are just here as part of Thunar or part of some of the uh, extensions for Thunar that have maybe been installed by Arco Linux, which is what I run. But if I wanted to create my own custom action, I'd hit the plus symbol here. And for example, if I wanted to, you know, be able to open a directory in Emacs Dear Ed, open in Emacs Dear Ed would be the name, the description. I'll just copy that for the description. Uh, does it need its own submenu? Well, if I have several custom Emacs actions, like open also directories in Emacs Maggot, for example, it might be interesting to have a submenu. So I will create a submenu. And then we need to create the command. And the command I'll just paste from earlier what I used in PC Man FM because it uses a similar format, except the percent %f is the path to the first selected file or directory. Yeah, that, that's the one we want, but there are some other variables you can use with Thunar that are not available with PC Man FM, but I think this is the one I actually need. So let me hit OK. There is open in Emacs Dear Ed. Um, it didn't ask us about an icon, so let me actually go back. No icon, so let me click on the no icon button, and I would actually have to search for a Emacs icon here. Let's just use the first one there. And I noticed that everything I had written before is no longer here. I guess it didn't save it, probably because I didn't choose the icon earlier. But let's go ahead and I'll put everything back. Open in Emacs, dear Ed. Copy, copy. Let's hit OK. Close that. And now when I right click on a directory, let's make it one of my GitLab repos. If I right click, I should have had that Emacs subfolder here, but I may need to restart. You can tell I don't use Thunar that often. Uh, there's another tab here, uh, other than the basics, which is all the stuff you've already seen me fill out, appearance, conditions, and file pattern range, that could be anything. The uh, It appears if the selection contains directories, right? So this is all we want this to actually be available in. So that is the reason. And now let's restart Thunar. And now if I go onto a directory and right click on it, now I have this Emacs subdirectory. It says open in Emacs gear ed. So let's see if that actually happens. It does. So that is how you add that in Thunar. You go into edit, configure, custom actions, and just make sure that you don't do like me and fill out the first page, you know, the basic tab here. You also have to go into the appearance conditions because by default, everything is ticked off, meaning that new context menu is never going to appear on any files or directories until you make the appropriate selections. So that is for Thunar. I'm sure that's very similar to the way Nautilus does these things and the various other file managers out there, Nemo and Kaja and Dolphin. And uh, I, the sky's the limit to what you can do with this. And that's one of the great things about Linux, especially a lot of the software we use, free and open source software, is you can configure these things, you can extend these things to do whatever is appropriate for your use case. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people, and of course I'm talking about Gabe James, Maxim, Matt, Mehmet, Mitchell, Paul, Roy West, Armor Dragon, Bash Potato, Chuck, Commander Angry, George, Lee, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Profit, Roland, Tools, Devler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode about context menus inside a file manager, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. 
all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on patreon i don't have any corporate sponsors i'm sponsored by you guys the community if you like my work and want to see more videos about linux and free and open source software subscribe to distrotube over on patreon peace